All right. Uh, the next uh, major invention that uh, allowed the Industrial uh, Revolution to continue is what we see on the, the screen is actually the in invention of steam power. Now, steam power uh, around this time, early 1800s, 1800, 1820s, that sort of thing, all the way up to about 1830, uh, steam was being used in coal mines. When uh, water would drip down into uh, a mine, it's not good for harvesting coal. Uh, out of that mine so what would happen is these steam pumps would would get all that water out the problem with that is uh, that it was very inefficient the fuel needed to to run those pumps was was way too much it it just wasn't worth it the the main importance uh, with steam is because it is very powerful think about when you are uh, when there is a pot of water that is boiling and all of that vapor, all of uh, that air, hot air coming over, if you put your hand over the top of, the, of that air, of that steam, feel how hot it is and how much that hurts, that is what was used to, to power all of these uh, new inventions. Specifically, you have the steam-powered engine, uh, which allowed for boats and railroads to be built. Now why is that so important? Because now you can take the goods that were produced in the factory, you could take them to to other places. You can take coal that was mined up in up in the hills, you can take that down the river to the factory and use it. So the steam engine, how powerful it is, is an extremely important invention and really allowed for many of the things that happened in the rev uh, industrial revolution to happen. Speaking of the railroad, the first uh, step of the railroad is creating a locomotive. Now, what is a locomotive? It is a it is simply a steam engine on wheels. And uh, they were trying in to invent uh, different things. Think of the scientific revolution. How can that? How can they improve uh, the way of life? And they first thought of the uh, steam, uh, or they first uh, started with uh, the railroad by creating a locomotive. Um, again, a steam engine on rail. The first railroad train was oops, wrong. The first railroad train was actually uh, they began working on it in 1821 uh, in England, and by 1830 they uh, had completed the uh, first uh, actual railroad line. It went from the interior of England out to the sea, uh, and was just a test run. Soon, um, people heard about this. They were excited about the possibilities. Remember, the main thing um, people were so, so excited about. One, uh, you can now transport the goods that you are creating to other places. And by transporting it to other places, you can sell them. And the more you sell, the more you make. The more uh, you make, the more money you make. And that's what all these people are, are worried about, is making more money. The first major actual rail rail railway was uh, the Liverpool to Manchester, uh, and within twenty thirty years, the whole country was littered with railroad lines. And you see these um, all of these little black lines right in here are all railroad lines. And y even today, if you go to England today, these same lines are still in place and are used um, today. So, so it is very, very important. Now, there are four main things that uh, the railroad, um, the effects of the locomotive had on society. The first one, railroads spurred industrial growth um, and cheap transportation. So now you can go from uh, place to place on a railroad because you can uh, transport and you can travel a little easier. So the first thing is industrial growth is expanded. Uh, and why is it expanded? Because it is cheap now to transport things. You can transport, um, like I was saying, coal to the factory. You can tra transport um, people. You can transport the textiles. Everything is just much easier to get from place to place. Uh, because of the railroad, you have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of new jobs, not only in the railroad industry, building railroad lines, building railroad cars, operating the cars, fixing the railroads, all that stuff, type of stuff, but now you have coal uh, because uh, the initial um, 
railroad engines were built from steam. Eventually, they're going to uh, be built uh, using coal. Uh, so not only do you need uh, someone to um, mine the coal, but then you need to take uh, that coal um, to, to where it belongs. Not only uh, those two things, but the third uh, major effect uh, of the railroad expansion is agricultural and fishing industries saw a huge, huge increase. Think about it. If you're a fishing village on, on the sea, now you can take all of the fish that you catch and now you can transport them to the interior of the country where all of these factories are built and, and you can take your food and now you can transport it by railroad car and you can sell it, making a profit. Same thing with agriculture. If you are a, a farmer in Montgomery, uh, uh, Great Britain right there, you can take yours um, you can be farm. You could be raising agriculture, whether it's corn, whether it's beef, whether it's uh, what other, whatever other um, product. And now you can take it to London, where the where there's a ton of people there, and sell it. So, so the railroad helped uh, specifically agricultural and fishing commu uh, communities. And the most important effect that the railroad have was that people now moved from the country to the cities. There are, are factories being built in the cities. There are tons of jobs that are in the cities. And now people are going from the country to the city. And, and that's where, before this time, the majority of the people lived in, country, in the country and uh, where there's a lot of land and not as much in the city. With the invention of the railroad, the steam engine, all of that type of thing for the first time you see people migrating to cities and leaving the country and from pretty much here on more people live in cities than they do uh, in the country and finally uh, you get progress from the industrial revolution everything you get more of it you get more clothes you get more food you get more more everything and you get it faster uh, before this time the only way to get from point a to point b was you would either have to walk, you would have to ride a horse, that type of thing. Now you can go from point A to B much faster through a train. You can go longer distances. People are now traveling. Today we see it through planes. Uh, we can go from here, uh, the United States, to England. Before uh, a plane, you had the only way you can do that is by a ship. Before the ship, you couldn't do that. So a lot travel is uh, a lot easier. And eventually communication spurns out of this. You get the telegraph uh, and then the telephone. And those were all uh, based and used off of railroad lines. Um, that The same uh, way they set those up was, uh, was used for that as well. So that is uh, a lecture number one. I hope you um, learned something from it. Just a reminder, now what you're supposed to do is you want to write questions in the left-hand side of your questions and then write a summary for part one and part two. Hopefully you did part one already, but part one and part two. If you're confused about anything, I know I, I might have uh, uh, not been clear on some things, please let me know when you write your summary and I will do a better job in class to, to clarify any confusions that you may have. Uh, thank you very much and have a good evening.